Another National Hockey League season began tonight with three games. Here, the Oilers, who are given credit for a better defense this season, didn't show it. Though a few of the faces were different, the show was the same, as the local simply outscored the Calgary Flames in Game 1. Of note, Ken Lintzman and Yaroslav Fuzar scored their first Oiler goals, while Wayne Gretzky got just one point. Grant Fuhr looked ready, though his goals against is now 5-7-5 five, five the final. The Oilers' first goal of the season was scored at 7.57. Yaroslav Puzar's first in the league after a pass from Yari Curry on a blast to the far side of Don Edwards. The Oilers made it 2-0 a minute later at 8.54 of the first. Paul Reinhardt's never-do-this pass gave Glenn Anderson a splendid deke on Edwards. The Oilers went up by three on a goal by Dave Hunter after Leif Fogelin and Glenn Anderson had set him up. The shot off Edwards and in through the bar. But the Flames came back with two late. The first of Guy Schwinnard on a slick passing play. Kent Nilsson and Paul Reinhardt, three to one. The second, just a minute later, with just one and a half to go in the period, Doug Risebrow hit the glass with his first shot and converted his second, three two after one period. In the second period, Calgary tied it. Mel Bridgman screened Grant Fuhr as Jamie Hislop found Mesh five minutes in, three three. The Oilers fought back to lead again just a minute later. Ken Linsman walked out of the corner and scored on his second try. First goal as an Oiler. But again, Calgary came back. The Oilers couldn't clear it. A point shot from Kerry Antolanta went in off Lanny McDonald, 4-4 midway. With less than four minutes left in the period, the Oilers took the lead again. Mark Messier placed a pass from Kevin Lowe perfectly, 5-4 after two in the third period. The Oilers opened their lead by one with Tom Ralston's goal after a shot from the point got past Reinhardt's skate. 6-4 at 359. Flames closed within one again at the midway point. U of A grad Dave Hinmarsh, a great move on. Lee Fogelin swept in front and scored. 6-5. Final goal of the night was the nicest. With five minutes left, Puzar to Gretzky to Yari Curry all alone. Bingo, 7-5. That's how it ended. Three games in the league tonight. Bossy has scored for the Islanders in Vancouver. The rematch of the Stanley Cup finals there. 1-1 in the second period and a tie, a final just in from New Jersey. Again, the Oilers winning tonight 7-5 over the Flames, who've cut the muscle for speed and finesse this season. Greg Musselman adds this. The Calgary Flames finished third in the Smythe Division last season and were eliminated very quickly by the Vancouver Canucks in the first round of the playoffs. General Manager Cliff Fletcher felt major changes were needed. He traded for players like Richie Dunn, Steve Kristoff, Doug Riseburn, goaltender Don Edwards. Flames also have a new man behind the bench and Bob Johnson taking over from Al McNeil. I don't know where we fit in our division yet, and uh, I guess i got to wait till see how we play where our strong points are. Uh, uh, it appears to me we got two skating teams in the division and two real good defensive teams in the division, and where does the Calgary Flames fit in? I really don't know yet. What I see, it's encouraging. I think uh, last year there seemed to be the guys that are from here last year uh, seem to want to change things from what happened last year, and Certainly, I think some of the acquisitions that they made uh, in the nets and on defense are certainly going to help. And, uh, you know, it's a type of thing where you have to, uh, it's hard to tell right now, but certainly things have been encouraging, and uh, that's a good sign. The Calgary Flames, with a new look, should be a better team for it this season. Greg Musselman, ITV Sports. Minor hockey is back on the ice for another year with a big change for midget age.